Right, this is the seventh tutorial for WordPress creating a plugin from scratch. And this is going to be about including code in separate files rather than having just one main file. And the reason you may want to do this is if you can look at the, uh, the code I have at the minute, there's quite a lot already. And if I put any more in there, it, it's soon going to be easy to lose anything. So, really, it's best to create different files that have specific purposes with their code. So a good example would be one file for all the code related to installing a plugin, one file for all the code related to uninstalling a plugin, and all the code related to possibly tasks of the plugin like short codes. So I'm just going to create some new files here. And I'm just going to quickly look over my code just to get an idea of what I, what I want to cut out. So I decided to create three new files. So the first one I'm going to create, just put it in the same directory my plugin's already in, which is the dbsync folder. So it's got to be in the same folder. And I'm just going to call it activate.php. So in this file, I'm just going to stick all the code related to installing my plugin and the second file which again is in the DB sync folder so they all need to be in the same place for this specific tutorial anyway and this one's just going to be the opposite so deactivate so all the uninstall code goes in this and then the last file I'm going to create is just something which can take up the most room on most WordPress plugins although not necessarily this one but it's useful anyway for the plugins which is just the short codes page which I'm gonna call shorts PHP just to remember it so now that I've got these three files I need to link to them in my main file so when I run this main script the server just sees these files as the same so it all, it all executes all all the code of these four files in one go so to do that I just need to include these files so just using the normal PHP include function and gotta put this <clears throat> three times for the three different files we've just created but the thing we've got to consider is the directory because obviously you cannot directly just put the file name you need to state the directory that these files are in so as you can see the wordpress folder is where my wordpress installation is then wp content and then plugins and then the folder which is the name of your plugin folder so WP content directory just gets you to the uh, the WordPress and the W content folder but from there you've obviously got the plugins folder and then the plugin folder of your plugin so just need to state that constant which is WP underscore content underscore directory and just append to it the rest of the directory and then the file name and the reason I use this constant, there's several which you may find easier in some situations or shorter but I use this one simply because it's a plugin that's eventually over time it might not just be in the plugin folder so I'm just working with remembering the main constant which seems to be easy to remember and it, it never gives you any problems so the next thing I'm gonna do is just cut out these functions which relate to a specific uh, file so to cut down my main file I'm just gonna take the functions out which match up to the kind of reasoning behind this new file structure and obviously I've just got to put in the PHP opening and closing tags so that it actually functions right 
and you gotta do this for every file you're including. And then just cut out this final part for the short code. And I'm just gonna stick that in the fourth file, which is shorts.php. Put the open and closing tags. And then once they're saved, you can see that this file's a lot smaller now. And now that we're getting around to adding more code, we're gonna need to keep splitting up uh, the code into multiple files just so we don't have one gigantic file where we can't find anything. So now that seems all okay and there's no errors in the code in the way we've cut it. We should be able to just test it out now to see if the existing functionality which was moving the templates Yeah, just moving the templates, that, that's all the uh, plugin does at the moment. Apart from the install and the uninstall. But you should be able to see that movement, as well as the tables being created and destroyed, which has been shown in previous tutorials. We should be able to show that now in, in this uh, plugin still functioning, even with this new uh, file setup. So now I'm just going to go into the WordPress site where I had my install set up and going into PHP my admin to show you the tables because as I mentioned before you can observe this plugin working by the new tables being added the new tables being taken away that are specific to this plugin So you can see at the moment that the tables are in there and the plugin just needs deactivating. And once it's been deactivated, the tables have disappeared. And if I just do it again, you should be able to see that yet again tables that are there and you can tell which tables they are by the DB sync prefix in there as well as the uh, if you're quite familiar with the default tables in WordPress or if you just have a look at what's there by default you should be able to recognize an odd looking table name <coughs> and this is WordPress 3.3 I believe that I'm using possibly uh, I believe the first 3.3 there was uh, some kind of bugs and errors with it so they actually updated it with a small update but it is this is all WordPress 3 and above stuff so now I'm just going to show you another technique for including files and this is just it could be considered a shorter way or a more dynamic and accurate way of including um, files and this is specifically if you've got all the files in your plugin folder and you don't want to you know they're not going to be moving anywhere you can just use this WordPress function called plugin directory path and then just use the you'll you'll have seen this in PHP coding before but this file which just points the basic the internal file pointer just points to that directory but it needs it as a parameter for that function but this is wrapped inside a PHP function that is wrapped inside that WordPress function so if I just write it out again then it'd still work but it's just a shorter directory so that's it for the end of this tutorial and I'm, I'll be moving in the next few days, so it might it might take a week or two for some new videos to come up. But apart from that, uh, there'll be also some new video extras, which I'll be showcasing soon. So, thanks.